Polly Diamond and the Magic Book by Alice Kuypers, illustrated by Deanna Taldano. Chapter 9 Reading Chapter 9 When the rumbling stops, Shailene sits up and rubs her head. Polly, she says, what's going on? She looks around nervously. I'm hungry, Anna says. Do you want a banana? I offer her and giggle. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Where are you? Miss Hairball calls in her soft, sweet voice from the front door. We hurry into the hallway. Guess what? Miss Hairball takes off her flowery coat. I'm too busy looking around the house to answer. Phew, everything is perfect. I even remembered that the picture by the front door is of a horse. I really am a very good writer. It's our regular house. I glance up the stairs. The carpet is not on the ceiling anymore. But the roll of carpet isn't on the floor either. Whoops! I must have forgotten to write it in. Shailene comes up behind me. She puts her hand on my shoulder. Is Anna still a banana? She asks quietly. A what? Mrs. Hairball asks. What's going on? I was a banana, Anna said. Polly was invisible. I have a magic book, I say. Everything I write comes true. A banana? Huh, how fun, said Miss Hairball. I'm glad you've had a good time. The house had thousands of rooms, I say, and Anna really was a banana. Any guesses yet? Miss Hairball asks. Your parents have exciting news. What? I ask. Your brother has arrived. Woo! Our brother, I say. My brother. My new baby brother. Look! Miss Hairball holds up a photo on her phone. The baby is small and scrunched. Yuck! says Anna. He's so cute! Shailene cries. I roll my eyes. Like Anna, I have a scary good eye roll. Secretly, I agree with Anna. The baby looks like a big raisin. What's his name? Coochie Coo! Shailene says to the phone. Finn, Miss Hairball replies. Finn? Like a shark fin? That was not on my list, I say. Shall we call your parents, girls? When Dad answers the phone, I say, I like the name Finn, but I like the name Basil better. That's good, Dad says, because his name is Finn Basil Diamond. Seriously? Seriously, he says. It's the best name ever. How's everything at your end? Great, I say. I turned the house into a house with a thousand rooms. My bedroom was an aquarium. Super polytastic, says Dad. I really did. In the background at his end, there's a loud yell. Is that baby Basil, I asked? Finn is very vocal about what he wants, Dad replies. You want to talk to Mom? Finn gets even louder. Maybe later, I say. Good idea, says Dad. Okay, Dolly P. See you in the morning, and then you can show me your book. My tummy grumbles. I'm so hungry, I say to Miss Hairball as I hand the phone to Anna. Let's eat, said Miss Hairball. After we eat, I say, maybe we can fix up the house for baby Basil. Fix up the house, repeats Shailene, turning away from her phone. Her eyebrows rise. I imagine my house fixed up. Perhaps my book would put it in the sky. Actually, I probably don't want to fix it up. But don't worry, I say. I have a great idea. After supper, we get to work. Shailene and Ms. Hairball put up the curtains. They're patterned with birds. I smooth on the wall stickers. Shailene checks her phone. No! Way. A giant snake was just captured on Main Street. A giant snake, I say. Was it as big as a, oh, I don't know, a roll of carpet? Snakes are gross, cries Shailene, still looking at her phone. She passes me a onesie. We all take the tags off the baby clothes. Ms. Hairball strings some fairy lights that we can find in the basement. Baby Finn needs fish. Anna says, looking at the walls. I giggle. A fin needs a fish? 
But our fish are gone, I say. Maybe when Dad's back, we can paint our room aquarium blue like an aquarium. Okay, she says. She picks up her stuffed unicorn and puts it in the baby's crib. Our baby can have that. I'm so glad you're not a banana anymore, I say. Me too. I notice my open book on the floor. It is written to me. So, have you picked out my name? Your name? I forgot I was supposed to give you a name. Hmm. What about mint? Mint is a great name. Mint means an herb like basil. And mint means a place where money is made. And it means new and unused. And it's a word for candy. Um, any other ideas? Crane? That's the name of a machine and a bird. Or jam, a thing to eat. And a word for when people squeeze together. And a word for when a band plays. Or date, a fruit and an outing. Those aren't really names. Spell. Spell. It means three things. A spell like a short period of time. But that's not the best meaning. It means spell like a magic spell. And spell like spelling a word. You are a writing book and spelling book after all. My name's Spell. I love it. What should we do tomorrow, Spell? Whatever you like. And Spell's right. We can do whatever we like together. Kidlets, come on, interrupt Shailene. We're nearly done in here. I put the book to one side and draw a picture of our whole family on paper. Miss Hairball gave me. I draw baby Finn Basil Diamond in the center. I color. Anna covers the edges with sparkles. Then we make a huge sign. We hang it across the room and we stick up the picture of us all. It's perfect, I say, when we're done. And it is. It really is. The end. Chapter 9 Questions When writing in the magic book, the lesson Polly learns is to write using details and be clear. She improved in her writing and was able to get her house back to the way it used to be for her family. What are some important rules you need to follow when writing so people can understand your message? Polly, Anna, Shailene, and Ms. Hairball want to fix the room up for the baby. Why do you think Polly doesn't write in her book to make the room changes? How are you and Polly alike? Polly and I are alike because we both. 2. How are you and Polly different? I am different than Polly because she and I. Would you recommend this story for others to read? Explain your reasons.